White Lotus family, White Lotus family. It's Nocturnal back in this joint. Combat Cast. So this is not officially the Combat Cast reaction. I didn't do a reaction. Well, I guess, I, mean, I guess you can say this is a reaction. But I'm only reacting to one thing. One thing. Before I get into that, what's good, y'all? I miss y'all. Hopefully, y'all miss me. We got so much to talk. Oh, man. We got so much to talk about. Let me get this out the way, though. I told y'all in the last video, it was going to be about a week. You know, I, I wasn't going to be playing. It's nothing more stressful than to be on call. You're on call one week out the month, every month. That's from 8 a.m. Monday morning to 8 a.m. the following Monday morning. Stroke. <laughs> Your phone can ring at any point. You know how stressful that is with a newborn? 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I get a phone call, I got to go. That just woke the wife and the baby up. Now the wife eyeballing me. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's jump into this combat cast. We need to get to the goodie. Oh, we're gonna talk. Uh, we do. There is a, a balance patch coming with this uh, f for the game, and there's uh, Stephanie is just gonna go through a couple things you might see in that, and we'll let let it come out for you all to read it later to see what y'all what happens to your characters and whatnot. But uh, Stephanie, you wanna go through a couple characters right now? Yeah. So I chose three to go over, and this is not the complete thing. So there are a lot of balance path uh, balance changes, but they are somewhat small it's we took a lot of look at like frames a lot of damage changes but we did not want to change like everything about the game like it's not a, like a massive rework we're pretty happy with the meta imbalance of the game right now but we did want to look at some of the minutia so i picked three examples of characters that are getting some pretty cool buffs first is raiden uh -huh. um so his back one too is like his main footsy tool. That's the main min rage move you want to do. And it's now yes, facts, a little facts, bit facts. safer. And oh. the cool thing is the throw at the end, back one to one plus three, is now an actual throw. Oh. So if the opponent tries to, like, jab him out of it, he'll actually interrupt and grab them get a throw damage. Oh. So they could, if they read that, they can punish it. But if they're reading that and trying to duck it, then they're not doing the full punish that they normally would. So it makes his neutral game a little bit safer and a little bit more of a guessing game to use. I like that. I didn't cool. think of that. I didn't think of that. I like uh, that. We also looked at the uh, crushing blow requirement for his electric fly. Don't don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. It's the same, but the requirement has been pushed a little bit closer. So he doesn't. It's to do uh, the Superman from like full screen. It's now a little bit closer. So it's a little bit better with punishing. And then uh, another thing I don't we looked really at understand. is his storm cell, which is like his main power. Don't do that! You can now not break away till the last hit. So before, you could break away during even the first hit of it, and then Raiden would be left open for, like, eternity. Like, Facts. he could go consult the Elder Gods, come back, and still get punished. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you say? What? Stephanie. Brown back. Repeat what you said? Like... He could go consult the Elder Gods, come back, and still get punished. It's a stroke. I called that. Y'all realize I called that? I called it. Oh, my. Oh, keep going. Keep talking. And then lastly, a lot of people have wondered about Shao Kahn. So, last week I mentioned that his 434 is now special cancelable. And that also has a change, like Raiden, where the throw is now a true throw. So, the same applies to there. That's dope. But another move we looked at is his back three. And it's changed across the board. It's faster, it does more damage, and it has an all-new hit reaction. It now just sets up combos easily. Like, you can... I don't play Shao Kahn, and I can just easily in training and do a, a big combo. Like, he can just walk up and do his back one or whatever. So it's still an unsafe mid, but it's a little bit faster, and it's much better for doing combos. And then lastly, most characters only have one armor-breaking move, he actually has three. So we already wow. talked about his downward shoulder charge, but both of his anti-air moves, his anti-air grab and his anti-air spear also break armor. That's amazing. So he's like the armor breaking master, which makes sense since he's like a... The boss character. Right, a boss, exactly. Yeah. Correct. 
So he has it. a lot of options if you're trying to uh, break away from him, which is pretty cool. Listen, ever since I heard about that <clears throat> rating buff, I've been walking around just like this way right, all day. <clears throat> look at that man, look at that rating got buff. Buffs. <clears throat> Stroke. <laughs> I'll holler to y'all the next. <laughs>